Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. An animated EQ, classic EQ animation inside Adobe After Effects. And not only this, but I'm going to show you guys, if you have music, how to make it bounce with the music. So this animation is going to look nice with your audio track. So let's jump inside Adobe After Effects. But before we do, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you find value. I post once a week on After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So let's get started. All right, so I'm inside Adobe After Effects, and the first thing that we're going to do is go to Composition, New Composition. I'm going to name this EQ Meter Animation. I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080 for my width and height, 29 frames a second is great. And then change the duration to the length of your song. My song's one minute, so I'm going to leave it around 60 seconds. Then I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to import my song. So I'm going to go to File, Import, File. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder where I have my song and click Open. I'm going to drag this to my Project Panel or my Timeline Panel. And next, what we're going to do is create a new solid, and this will be the effect or the solid that holds the effect that creates the animation. I'm going to name this EQ Meter Animation. That way we know what it is. And then click OK. And then to create the effect, I'm going to go to Effect Generate Audio Spectrum. And you'll notice that we have a nice little meter thing happening in the center of our composition window. But if you play this back, nothing's happening. So what we have to first do is actually link this effect to the audio layer. So to do that, go into the Effects Controls panel. If you can't see this, go to Window Effects Controls. And then next to audio layer, click the down arrow, the drop down arrow, and change it to your layer that has the audio track in it. And now you'll start to see something happening here. Next, I'm going to realign this so that it's at the bottom, similar to what you saw at the beginning of the video. First, I'm going to go to side options and only choose side A. And what this is doing is it's only displaying from the bottom up instead of displaying both ways. And next, I'm going to change the start point so that it starts at the bottom. So I'm going to change this to 0 and change this value to 1080. And change the bottom value to 1080 and change this one to 1920. And now we have it uh, starting at the very bottom left and ending at the bottom right. Next, you'll see the start and end frequency. And when playing with this effect, it's important to realize that the values here displayed in After Effects is actually the hearing range of the human ears. So humans can only hear between 20 hertz to uh, 20 kilohertz or 20,000. So, you know, you can adjust this as needed. And basically, if you make that range shorter of the start and end, that you'll see a specific range of the frequency in your timeline. So in this example, I'm going to actually change the start to around 800 hertz and change the end to about 1200 hertz. The reason I'm doing this is I'm selecting only this area to display. You can change this depending on your own song, but I noticed that if you don't cut off the lows, the lows seemed a lot heavier, or the frequency bands are a lot uh, larger in the low section rather than the high section. And next, what you can actually do is change the frequency bands. I'm not going to in this example, but if you want more bands displayed, you can change it. But what I'm going to do is change the maximum height. So I'm going to drag this up quite a bit, and now we start to see things happening here. Next, I'm going to change the thickness. So I'm going to make these lines thicker. I'm going to change this value to 10. And I'm going to change the softness down to 0. So they're hard lines. If you bring it up to 100, they'll be a lot faded. So it really depends on your personal preference. But I'm going to change it down to 0. All right, so next we're going to focus on the color. And you can use these colors in here, but you only get two colors inside and outside color. And I kind of want that classic EQ look that you'd see on a classic meter. So I'm actually going to create a separate composition and solids that uh, kind of have that color with them. So what I'm going to do next is actually pre-compose these layers. So I'm going to select them, right click on them in the layer in the timeline panel. And then I'm going to rename this EQ animation pre-comp. That way we know this is a pre-composition. I always like to label it pre-comp. And then click OK. 
And then next what we're going to do is I'm actually going to hide this layer so we can focus and then go to layer new solid and we're going to create three different new solids. One red, one yellow, and one green. So change the colors to that. And what I'm going to do is hit select the layer in the timeline and hit command D to cop to duplicate the layer and now I'm going to just go to layer solid settings to change the solid setting color to yellow and click OK and click new. It'll make a new solid and do it one more time. Hit command D to duplicate it. Go to layer new solid settings and change it to green. Click OK and click new. Next I'm, what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to go to about 50 so we get some space around the solid. I'm going to cha change my tool to the rectangle to tool and this will enable mask to be created. So I'm going to draw a mask around the area where I want the green displayed. And this will be near the bottom because it starts, you know, bottom green, middle yellow, and top red. So I'm just going to click and drag to draw a mask. And I'm going to click on the layer and hit MMM to bring up the mask properties. I'm going to feather this out to about 300 pixels. And now I'm going to bring the red solid and bring this up to the top. And then I'm going to do this one more time with the rectangle tool selected. I'm only going to select the top area and draw a rectangle mask and then select the layer, hit MMM to bring up the mask properties and change this one more time to 300. And the green solid is a little too close. So I'm going to click on the layer, click on the mask specifically, and then hit V on my keyboard to bring up the selection tool and then click and hold down shift. And this will make sure that you don't um, offset it too much. And just bring this down a little bit. And now we got a nice blend between the red, yellow, and the, the, the green. And now I'm going to actually pre-compose these three layers. I'm going to select them, right click on them, and go to pre-compose. I'm going to name this EQ meter color pre-comp. And then click OK. Now what I'm going to do is actually drag this color pre-comp under the EQ animation. I'm going to unhide that. And what I'm going to do is select this color pre-comp and then change the target matte to alpha matte EQ. And this will essentially, what this is saying is basically put this layer inside this layer. And now basically we have that color inside the alpha or the, um, you know, the spectrum audio thing above it. So now we got a nice EQ animation happening. So the last part in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create that grid type of look where you have horizontal lines breaking up the animation. So to do that, I'm going to actually select these layers and pre-compose it one more time here. I'm going to name this EQ animation finished pre-comp. Click OK and to create the grid, or the lines, I'm going to go to Layer, New Solid. I'm going to name this Grid. I'm going to change the color to black, just so that I can see it. And I'm going to hide the layer underneath so that we can focus on this grid layer. And the effect that we're going to apply is called Grid, actually. So if you go to Effect, Generate Grid, this is a nice effect to use. It generates a grid. You can do a lot with this effect. In this case, I'm only going to use it to generate horizontal lines. So we're going to mess with this effect. We're going to bring up the border to around 15. We're actually going to change the color to black. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to toggle transparency so that we can see it. And then we're going to click on it again. And we're going to change the first layer so that there's only about one vertical line in our shot in our composition. And then we're going to change the anchor point to offset it so that we only have horizontal lines happening here. And then we're going to adjust the Y value of the corner and we'll bring it down a little bit and that way we have these nice horizontal lines only. And now what we're going to do is unhide that bottom layer, select it, and then go to target mat alpha inverted mat. And now when we uncheck toggle transparency, we have this nice animated gridded type of EQ look happening. All right, guys, so that was it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. I did go over a lot with alpha mats and the luma mats and not the luma mats, but the inverted mats. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about how mats work inside Adobe After Effects, I did make a tutorial going over that. I'll link it right up here if you want to check it out. 
Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.